All right, so hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I I broke my arm. It's a very I guess it's a quick story. Just hang out with me for a second. Let's let's do some talking. <laughs> that almost sounds like you're in trouble. I'm like, hey, let's do a little bit of talking. Sit down. How did I break my arm? I woke up like this. What did you do? <laughs> so yeah, over the weekend, I ended up breaking my arm, and it's been very very painful. I'm gonna explain how it happened, and you're gonna laugh at me. I feel like, but it's all right. It's okay, but over the weekend, I broke my arm, and it's been one of the, like, the weirdest and most frustrating experiences uh, in a long while. I just wanted to make this video as like a, a little bit of like a, a heads up, because I, <laughs> I know that in the next couple of videos, everybody's gonna comment like, Dak Blake, what happened? And you're gonna see me like trying to make videos like, hey, whoa, I'm, make, I'm pressing the keyboard. Whoa, what's up everybody? <laughs> and everybody's gonna be like, wait, what, what happened? So before I get into the story, which I feel like you almost have to now stick around to figure out what happened, right? Yeah? So um, I just have to explain, I didn't realize how complicated breaking your arm was. I, I broke my arm when I was a, a kid, I think in like the second grade, but it really didn't affect me as much as like this does now because I, I think it's very difficult to record videos now and make thumbnails. It hurts extremely bad. So what ended up, what, like, what ended up happening is I broke this bone right here and the bone in my hand. And here is the story. <laughs> and before we start the story, I just want to say like, you know, I feel like I should um, acknowledge the fact that a lot of people have to deal with, um, you know, not being able to use their hands or some people are born or have to like amputate their hands. So like, I'm very blessed in the sense that this is only temporary. And, you know, like, I guess it's almost like, I'm complaining even though like 90% of the time I get to use my hand. So I just wanted to preface with that because a lot of people really do struggle, you know? So anyways, uh, let me explain. So I think on Friday I was uh, hanging out with my friend and we were eating some food and I think we were walking to our cars and it was like really dark out. Like imagine a, a situation where you can kind of barely see the person. We were talking about something kind of standing in front of the cars and we stood out there for maybe like two minutes and all of a sudden, I got like a tug on my pants. And so we're outside in the middle of the street. I got a tug on my pants and I was like, huh, that's weird. I felt something tug. And you know, when you're like, it's really dark out, you can't see anything. And I looked down and imagine looking at your leg right now. And you're like trying to focus and seeing like, what was on my leg? A giant cockroach, probably like the size of my hand, like this big crawls up my knee and is now on my like thigh. And I freaked out and I was like, like, you know that like, like, like heebie-jeebies kind of thing. I tried to swat it away as I jumped back and I landed just like right all of my weight on my left hand here. And um, immediately just broke the bone in my wrist and the bone in my hand. And I feel like that's not even a cool story. I feel so silly <laughs> to basically say, yeah, I lost a fight to a cockroach. That's, that's pretty much what happened. But like jokes aside and stuff, like it, it really hurt. Like, I, I think that I landed on it and I was like, oh, oh, okay, oh, oh. And I started to like, feel like I was almost gonna pass out. And I was like, whew, okay, all right, whoa. And then my friend was like, are you, you all right? Do you need to go to the hospital? I was like, no, oh, no, no, it's fine. I think I just sprained it. And I tried to like move it. And it felt like, imagine somebody grabbing onto your wrist, like that kind of physical resistance. And then I moved it and it's kind of like bones. I, I know it's weird, but like bones grinding on bones to like turn it. And I was like, ha, ah, ha, ah, okay. Well, maybe, maybe I should go to the hospital. <laughs> so um, yeah, I ended up breaking my wrist. And I think this is called a scaphoid. So you can see it right here. It's like broken all the way through in there, all the way through. And it's really frustrating because, you know, I'm like, I'm a smiley type of person in the sense that even when things are kind of like awkward or frustrating, I kind of just like Haha, laugh through them. But it really has been like very tough. Like the past couple of days, I'd say my like pain level has been like an 11 because I don't know if you can imagine, but trying to sleep in an L position, I can't straighten this like elbow. So it's like, imagine holding your arm like this for like two days straight, never getting to straighten it. And then if you move your arm, just like, you twitch it a little bit, it feels like your bones are, well, it's exactly what it is. Your bones are kind of grinding on each other. 
Yeah, the pain is like a 11. It hurts so bad. But the thing is, is like, I, I want to keep making videos and I don't think I'm going to stop. I know that a lot of people are probably like, like, oh, you got to take a break and all that stuff. But like my main mission is to like keep you guys smiling and like bring out content to cheer people up. And so I think I'm going to try my hardest. I know I feel really dorky because I lost a fight to a cockroach. Um, and I feel even more dorky because I tried to buy little little tiny keyboard Look, you see this little tiny keyboard so that when I play I could just like prop it up right here And I'm gonna record videos for you guys and I'm gonna you know Just a little tiny keyboard over here and I bought little foot pedals too just in case like if I needed to like Press stuff. So I'm gonna be over here stomping playing <laughs> the keyboard over here pressing the little buttons um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to give you guys an update so that you know if in the next videos or so you guys see me with a broken hand it's not like i just went like what broken hand what are you talking about anyways uh i think i'm rambling a little bit i don't even know if i'm gonna post this on the main channel or my second channel so if you're seeing this on either one of them i guess cool right nevertheless though if there is a day where i don't upload it's probably because my bones are grinding um more and more on each other in fact i actually want to look at another picture Oh, this one is so crisp. So when I was in the hospital, I think the scariest part was when I was getting uh, my x-rays done. The uh, x-ray technician person was like, oh yeah, that's really broken. And then I think that's when it set in. I was like, oh, that's not good. Yeah, I just, I kind of hope that I have to go and now make appointments and go to orthopedic doctors in order to figure out what's going on. I kind of hope that they're like, oh, that's going to heal really fast look at that it's not even the, those are not bones separating they're just broken right on top of each other it'll heal real fast you know i mean it does kind of make me sad because like summer it's just starting and i think these heal like in six to eight weeks which means that like by the time i'm fully healed summer is pretty much over so that means no pool for me i can't go into the water at all I have to get everything done for me. Like my girlfriend has to literally feed me because I imagine trying to push stuff onto a fork with one hand. You need like two to like scoop it on. <laughs> so I can't eat. I can't make videos. I can't make thumbnails. I need help like 90% of the things that I do. So um, I guess bear with me. I'm going to try my hardest to make a bunch of stuff that you, like you guys could just uh, laugh at and cheer up at because I, I just want to keep doing that, you know? Anyways, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to stop talking and rambling now. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. All of those who even care. This might not even get a lot of views. I might take it down after a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it up. We'll see. <laughs> thank you guys. I'll see you in the next episodes that I'm probably gonna record right now. I'll, I'll see you there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.